job to sum it up, we use Sistus Sincanus um, for the treatment of chronic Lyme disease, we use it for the treatment of autism, we use it as a foundation of the treatment of Parkinson's, MS, ALS, chronic fatigue, um, we use it for hyperactive children or children with attention deficit, and it is published as a potent treatment for some cases of leukemia. It's also used in my own office, in my uh, practice, uh, as a treatment for various cancers because it is very well known that many cancers are really triggered by retroviruses, retroviral activity. Hello, I am Dietrich Klinghardt. I'm a medical doctor and I've been in practice for almost 43 years now. And this little lecture is probably the most important that I've ever given in my life. And we found that the deeper cause of the illness are the human endogenous retroviruses. Um, these are viruses deeply embedded in our DNA for probably millions of years, and they have been silenced by our uh, different wonderful administrative mechanisms that we have in our cells. These retroviruses, once they're unleashed, once they start duplicating, cause symptoms. Uh, people have chronic fatigue, they lose weight, they have food allergies, leaky gut, um, they have inflammation in the brain. Um, it looks like the, the entire system is on fire and our microbiome has severely been damaged by glyphosate, atrazine and other environmental toxins. And the most powerful treatment that covers not only the retroviruses, but also the molds, also the Lyme spirochetes, also the other viruses, is one simple herb, one simple plant that grows in the Mediterranean. It's called Cistus incanus that have this incredible array of effects from antiviral, antibacterial, anti-mold and antiretroviral. Cystos in generally is used um, as a tea and the tea is prepared in a certain way that's brought slowly to a boil just very briefly with the lid on because there is a lot of essential oils in the tea that evaporate if you don't have the lid on and then you simmer it for five minutes. And then the important thing is that that tea uh, is sweetened with stevia. And stevia has been found to be dramatically effective for Lyme disease, for Lyme spirochetes. And so by combining the sister's tea, sweetening it with stevia, combining it with stevia has uh, propelled it forward in being probably the most uh, powerful treatment for Lyme disease, but also for mold illness, but also for Epstein-Barr and the herpes viruses, and for the human endogenous retroviruses. An adult should drink six to eight cups of this tea every day. The tea should be rebrewed uh, two more times because some of the polyphenols only come out uh, when it is rebrewed uh, for the second time or the third time. And uh, this has become the foundation for the treatment for all chronic illnesses in my work, in my practice, with really dramatic uh, results. Mm -hmm.